this is Angela's, uh, Angela Montenegro's office. She's okay. an artist, so her art is here. Yep. These are ne'er-do-well crew members. <laughs> <laughs> this computer program, which I designed, patent pending, <laughs> accepts a full array of digital input, processes it, and then projects it as a three-dimensional holographic image. Okay. You get that? Yeah, uh, the patent pending part. The poor actors have to stand here like we are, yeah. and pretend they're, we describe to them what they're seeing, and they gape and point, and they're looking at nothing, sometimes a paper clip. And then the scenario? I'll never get used to this. Yeah? Chicks with toys? Yes, because they must all have to have the same point of focus. They do. Otherwise, it goes all off. They do, and they they yell at each other when they get it wrong. So they all agree on a on a, a particular place to focus. They're really good at it. Now the girls are just hanging out. You would think we were trailer trash. <laughs> you would with the wood panel trailer, wouldn't you? This is the sexy disco trailer but on the set of Bones. Is, it's actually hair and makeup, right? It is, yeah, it is hair and makeup. I think we could improve upon the, the trailer, but this is hair and makeup. This is where all the magic happens. You look incredible. You really do. You know what else I could tell? Just by looking at you, you smell great. You cannot see smell. What about the actual crimes and the gore and the goo and yeah. all that? How do you deal with that? Sometimes it's gross, but, you know, it's so much fun. We don't really, we know that it's fake. This is, turn that off. Oh, my God. You guys are perverse. So we're, we're laughing usually through it, throughout it. And do you actually do the sketches yourself, Eva? I don't. No. No, you should, you should really try to get a shot of my sketch pad, though, because it's like literally stick figure. I'm like the worst. So you have to protect. So basically the pad is like on the... Yes. So the, they so literally the say, here, it. Michaela, here's your sketch. And I'm like, oh. But then sometimes on takes, I'll try to sketch it. It's, it's, I mean, it's laughable. We should try to find it. <laughs> Joe. Donna Klein, Kat Zeely. A pleasure. Very nice to meet you. Welcome. Can you tell me what the job is that you do on the show? Yes. What's the technical title? Uh, forensic Technical Advisor, also Storyboard Artist, okay. and Forensic uh, Artist for the Suspect Composites. I wanted to ask you just how realistic is it? How do you kind of, can you reform Scott? The, the, the flesh on the skull? Yes, yes. Uh, actually, I mean, I do that myself. Uh, I reconstruct faces on skulls yeah. of the unknown deceased, either two-dimensionally or with clay. Does anyone recognize her? Not me. Wait, is that who I think it is? The girl who had the affair with the senator? Her name's Cleo Louise Eller only daughter to Ted and Sharon Eller. Do you have some um, drawings for me? I do. Can you show me? Yes. This is why, what I find really interesting, is it's that whole scientific meets artistic. Angela, with all due respect to your art, facial reconstruction is a science. It's both, babe. And this time, art made science her bitch. Hey, moan all you want. I stand by this. And, is that and not hard to combine? Well, that's kind of my career, really, yeah. you know, because um, on one hand, I think about skulls and larynxes and livers, and on the other hand, I'm an artist. Okay, and this one is critical because it will play throughout many of our episodes, and this is one of several uh, sketches that I did of the skeleton that will become the silver skeleton that you, we, we're starting to see now in this season. Okay. I think this is high medieval, Spanish, possibly Calabrian in origin. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. 12th century Calabrian? You know what that means. The Order of Alcantara? Is there anything under that blanket? Go, you, you can look. <laughs> there, now. <laughs> the illusion so of television. Not less scary. <laughs> yeah. look, at, look at what finger they left there. I don't know. I'm so sorry. There she is. You can see her. Look, cat. Where are you Way over there. Who's that guy she's talking to? Cat. <laughs> Wish me luck. <clears throat> Ready. What should I say? What should I say? What should I do? <laughs> what's he doing? <laughs> hey, what's up? Hey, that's very casual. What are you doing? Nothing really. Do you come here often? Well, you know, kind of <laughs> hang out. 
Nice seeing you, Phil. Cass. You want to try it on? You want to yes. try my lab coat on? Yes, definitely. The Jack Hodgins lab coat? There's Will it make me smarter? Yeah. Will it? You automatically can will you, be talking can, about Spodopter and Nithigali and Tetranacus aureus. And you can ask me the, the square root of 64. And what eight. is it? <laughs> See? It works! Only, only right when you put it on. My dad is going to be so proud that look I got that right. Does that look good? Yeah, you have to fight with bones. Yeah. You know what I want to do, though? Oh, okay. Oh. What are you doing? No, they're calling me. Wait, they do you are. Need the of bows? Why? Yeah, you'd be really smart. This is. You know, this is limbo. This is considered limbo. What's limbo? Limbo is where bones go when they haven't been identified yet. So we put them here in limbo. Isn't that kind of sad? Oh, it's kind of sad. It's like purgatory for bones yeah. in between either world. It's true. So, fake one, unfortunately, but uh, but beautiful <laughs> nonetheless. It's very Hamlet. <laughs> to be or not to be, that yes, is the that question. Yes, that is the question. Whether it is nobler, nobler in the, the mind, mind to suffer the slings and, and arrows of outrageous fortune, fortune or, or to take arms against a sea of fun. trouble and by opposing end them, <laughs> to die, to sleep no more. <laughs> and in a sleep to say we end the heartache and the fact... I'm doing Hamlet to cats! <laughs> in the middle here, we have the forensic platform. The idea being that this is the secure um, uh, place. Barry Josephson did Men in Black. He's a big movie producer. Yeah, yeah. And he's and he's. We were teamed up. Uh, didn't know each other very well. And I, I'm a TV guy. Yeah. And he put these um, these lights that go like this. And I said, What is that supposed to be? He said, It's supposed to be cool. <laughs> it just can't be a thing that does that for no reason. And so eventually we decided that it was some kind of ultraviolet antiseptic thing. But really, it's just cool. Ultraviolet antiseptic. Yeah, Even I'm terms. not believing that. I, and I'm talk gullible. To Barry. Talk to Barry. <laughs> How many more seasons do you think it's going to go on for? I think if we get through three, um, you know, it's a big deal to get through three, and I think we will. It started out promising. I, I think we're looking at five or six seasons, five. but you don't know no, however no. long people will have us. Touch wood. Yes. We over Good here luck. in the colonies are working hard <laughs> to deliver a great show for you. Do you ever worry that you're going to run out of ideas? No. Oh, you don't? Not yet. <laughs> oh, my God. I well, because then hey. none of them are my ideas. Oh, so why should I work? Oh, God, I'm terrified of this movie. <laughs> right now, I'm frightened. Yeah, as long as people keep killing each other in horrible ways, we'll have funny stories yeah. to tell. Fortunately for the makers of Bones, that doesn't look like happening just yet. It's been a roller coaster ride so far, what with danger and romance aplenty. What horrors have we got in store this season? Will Booth and Brennan get together? You'll just have to tune in to find out. Hope you enjoyed our exclusive access on the set of Bones. Don't forget to tune in to Season 3 exclusively on Sky One. And ahead of the new season, you can visit thedeadroom.com to try and solve a virtual murder with the help of the Bones team. Will you be able to track down the silver killer who also makes an appearance in the show itself? If you're not successful, leave it to the professionals. Bones is next, and it's a classic. Please discuss the mad love I have for Cat Dealey. Mad love. <laughs> What's happening behind me right now? I'm professing my love for Kat Dealey, and Tamara is picking on me. <laughs>